Hey guys, it's Derek. I'm a children's pastor at Life Church. I'm going to teach you how to do this icebreaker card trick that we used. Um, this particular card trick is normally a big finisher for a ambitious card trick. So if you know that, you can uh, use it for that too. Anyway, all you need to do this trick is a standard deck of cards and a rubber band. And so it doesn't matter what card gets picked. So we'll just have a card selected. So let's say this is the card selected, the Four of Diamonds, okay? So this card gets placed into the deck somewhere, and then what you need to do is get that card back to the top of the deck. I use a double undercut. I've shown many times how that's done, but I'm going to show you again just, to, just so you know this is the card here. It's in the middle of the deck. I have a pinky break right there where the card that's selected is on top of the pinky, sorry, where the card that's selected is right under my pinky. And do a double undercut. You steal, you let, you let a few drop from the bottom section, move those to the top. Then you grab where the pinky break is and bring those to the top, which then effectively puts the selected card at the top. So now we've got the selected card at the top. You want to get a pinky break underneath the selected card. Easiest way to do that is what I just did. You just let your thumb come up, push the top card up into the air so it drops back down onto the pinky. So you have a pinky break under the top card. You introduce the rubber band. And when you introduce the rubber band you're going to go like you're putting it around the deck of cards like so. But what you're really doing is sliding it underneath where the pinky break is on the top card. You wouldn't do it like this. You're going to turn your hand like this and you go like that, like you're putting the rubber band around the full deck of cards. So that's what it looks like to the audience. This is what it looks like to you. Slide it under the card. Let go of it. So they think that you've put the rubber band all the way around the card. Now you're effectively sealing the deal and you're saying I'm putting, you're going to put more of the rubber band. You know how you twist it and then you put it around again? Well what you do is you twist. Instead of twist and putting it around the deck of cards again, you just twist and bring it around the front card like so. And of course that'll just pop right off. So what you have to do is, this is going to be kind of hard to show you, but you bring this up, you twist, twist right. You twist, okay, and then you go around, wrap it down, and then use the meat of your thumb here to hold the rubber band down. So you end up with something that looks like this at the top of the cards. Now, for the audience's view on that, you don't want them to see your, that, your, that this card is not wrapped. So you keep it like this, and then you bend it around and just wrap, like so. And then come down and it, you, you see the two pieces of rubber band here. Okay? Then you do the count. You can have them touch the card. You can touch the card. One, two, three. But no matter who does it or how it does it, you go one, two, and then on three, you're going to let free this side of your hand. I'm going to hold it with my fingers for a second so it won't come undone. You just let go, like so, so that's going to pop off, okay? So we'll put it back. So one, two, and then on three, I let go here, like that. Now, you, you don't want to do it that slowly because you can obviously see what's going on right there. So in order to hide that, You do a bigger action. So your one, two, threes are one, two, your arm, hands going up and down if you're doing it yourself. If somebody else is doing it, kind of move with them. So they go one, two, three. That's kind of weird. That wasn't what I supposed to happen. It's probably because I'm moving the cards around so much. Anyway. And around. And then so one, two, three. You want that card to pop up through the rubber band. 
And of course, then it's the card that they selected. So that's how you do it. I hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys next time.